You know what, Jeff is actually an amazing job for cloud computing, cloud data engineer. You wouldn't believe how many recruiters contact me for cloud data engineer jobs. Um, just so many. Look, if that's something you want to do, if you want to get into cloud data engineering, let me tell you how you can get into that. Here's what you learn. The first thing you have to learn is become familiar with databases. And I don't just mean, you know, a SQL or Oracle databases. I mean like databases in general, because when you move to cloud, you're going to deal with so many different types of databases for so many different reasons. Uh, one of which is uh, SQL, the classic um, database, but you also have NoSQL. You also have big data databases, which are basically just storage, uh, like Parquet files and things like this. So you have to be very familiar with different types of databases, especially big data, because the cloud is where big data happens. And that brings me to the next point, which is data analysis. See, you have this data and you have, as a cloud data engineer, you have to analyze it. So you have to be familiar with the analysis tools that cloud data engineer use. And that is Python. A lot of what cloud data engineers do is analyze data using Python. So that means you have to get familiar with things like um, NumPy or Pandas or whatever other libraries are out there to help you analyze data. With data analysis comes the next topic, which is machine learning. Machine learning is again, a very specialized thing, but it is something that is growing more and more. And if you want to be in the running for many data science jobs, you have to have machine learning knowledge. That means you have to be familiar with the libraries like TensorFlow or Scikit-Learn or whatever. But I will also say you have to be familiar with the actual algorithms. You don't have to know how to write them. You don't have to you know, be able to code them from scratch, but you have to be able to understand how they work because, you know, you have to choose the right algorithm to analyze your data. You can't just throw a data algorithm and say, do your thing, at least not yet. Next, and we're going back a little bit with the data, you have to be familiar with data orchestration. You have to learn how to move data. Because when you move to enterprise, you don't just have data in one system and they're all very like, you know, connected. One thing comes after the other, comes after the other. So all these tools and techniques for scheduling data and running data and, you know, different services, I'm mostly familiar with Azure. So I would give you Azure Synapse or Azure Data Factory are some of the tools you want to be familiar with. Then. Lastly, at the end, like once you have done your analysis and all that stuff, at the end, you actually have to present your data. So we're talking about, you know, making graphs, making plots, or just being able to provide an Excel file. It pains me to say that, but sometimes the output of your work is an Excel file that connects to the proper data and provides your user the proper data. But if your company is good, most of the time that's going to mean tools like Power BI or Tableau. Uh, Tableau is expensive, but they have a free version. So you can definitely try your hands at it. Power BI is cheaper and it also has a free version on Windows. So go ahead, try it, put stuff in there. Power BI, if you're familiar with Excel, they, they translate uh, very well to each other. And now if you want to learn more about different cloud roles and salaries and things like that, I recommend you watch this playlist right here because that's what it is about. And if you want to see more of this content, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.